The late night flick nestled cozily in the void of the television. Flickering images of blood soaked horror flashed across the screen, depicting an endless torrent of screaming victims running for their lives. Emily sank deeper into her worn out couch, her heart racing with the swell of adrenaline. She had always devoured scares like this demon hauntings, ghostly apparitions, and the ever present figure of the slasher. Yet, what unfolded on screen felt disturbingly vivacious tonight, perhaps a byproduct of having downed the whole pot of coffee just hours earlier. As the clock ticked toward midnight, she felt a strange chill settle in her gut. She considered switching off the TV, calling it a night, but she was entranced by the unfolding story, a classic revenge of the vengeful undead in a small town. Emily's eyes glued to the screen, she heard the sound of muffled screams and bone-crunching impacts from the movie. The next wave of horrendous violence sent a jolt of fear coursing through her. Then it happened. Suddenly, the lights in her apartment flickered violently, plunging her into a moment of darkness before returning, brighter than before, or was that just her imagination? The film continued, but something felt different, the images starting to pulse and throb like something alive, and the air in the room thickened with a grating tenacity. She could have sworn she saw a dark shadow cascading against the backdrop of the film. Because it was only in movies, right? But when the screen began to ripple, a wave of nausea swept over her. With a violent crackle, reality blurred into an unsettling amalgamation of pixels and shadows. She threw her hands over her mouth to suppress the screen that threatened to escape. The characters she once adored, the masquerade of celluloid dreams, now peeled away their facades, their malevolence choking the air thicker than smoke. One by one, they emerged from the screen grotesque shapes melding with the familiar outlines of the living room. The slasher stalked out first, a gleaming knife in one hand, its blade dripping with unimagined horrors. The horned demon slithered from the frame next, steaming with the stench of sulfur and hatred. Finally, the trailing figure of the vengeful ghost glided through an eerie silence, her ghastly features twisted into a wicked smirk. Welcome, Emily, the slasher hissed, voice like gravel rolling down a cliff. You wanted a scaring, didn't you? She stumbled back, heart racing. This isn't funny, it's supposed to be a movie. Her pulse echoed in her ears as panic gripped her. Around her, the room darkened, and the once cordial confines of her sanctuary morphed into a sinister shell. She was no longer merely a viewer but an unwitting participant in a brutal rehearsal, destined for a role she never signed up for. The demon lunged closer, towering over her with molten eyes that burned into the depths of her soul. The price of your entertainment is your life. We've fed on your fears long enough. Now, you're the one to be fed on. Quote, dropping her phone and keys, she tore for the door, the weight of her breath forming in desperate gasps. But the figures, horrors made flesh, intercepted her with merciless strides. The ghost began wailing a melody of the damned, sharpening the already palpable tension. Do you see? This is where your fantasies lead, it sang, voice hauntingly sweet and dripping with malice. An end without a beginning. Quote, in a moment of desperation, Emily pivoted, using the couch for cover, her mind spinning frantically for an escape. She recalled the film's climax where the final girl, a staple of the genre, always discovered a hidden weapon or a poignant trick. She scanned the room, frantically searching for anything, knowing instinctively there could be no easy resolution. Her fingers grazed the remote, and the glimmer of hope sparked, a wild idea flared. With adrenaline coursing through her veins, she aimed the remote at the TV and pressed play. The characters paused, confusion etching their features, as the screen flickered alive with yet another scene of terror. In that split second of vulnerability, Emily made her move. No, you can't, the demon screeched, but she was already racing, shoving through the wall of malignant figures. The living room transformed into a clashing landscape of scenes, her mind tethered to a world that twisted and melded around her with every frame. With sheer will, she edged closer to the flickering abyss of the screen, just as the ship of shadows beckoned her home. With a leap of faith, she dove headfirst back into the TV. Darkness encased her as she tumbled through confounding shadows and blood-soaked tiles. The characters screeched behind her, fury lighting their features as she emerged on the other side, the sound of a film rolling to a terrifying end. 
Back in her living room, the TV turned black. The flames of terror gave way, leaving her gasping on the carpet, heart threatening to leap from her chest. As one solitary shiver crawled down her spine, she resolved to never cross wires with movie night again. Morning would come, but for now, she understood the real horror that lurked behind the veil of fictional realms. In the silence that enveloped the room, Emily swore she heard the echo of distant laughter fading into the ether, echoes of characters she had once adored, now turned to monstrosities, lurking just beyond the periphery of reality. And she knew, all too well, they weren't gone. They were waiting. 